everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be working on these two vintage tables. Once again, um, these were uh, from 1965. Um, I did find inside the drawer some paperwork that showed me that they were from 1965. Um, and you can see uh, they both have the same texture and everything, but again, this is old and we want to transform these. And today I want to try something different. Now I have worked with metallics before. So what I will do is leave the link to those pieces that I did with the metallic paint. And that's on my other channel. As you guys, if you didn't know, I do have another channel and that's Mary's Creative Decor. So I'm going to put that link uh, to the metallics that I'm going to use. But today I'm going to be trying something different. So you guys can work along with me and see if it's something that you might be interested in trying for yourself. So the first thing we want to do with this project, like we always do, is take the hardware off and wash the furniture down. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get started on these vintage pieces and refresh them and make them look new and beautiful again with some fresh new ideas. Okay, so regular screwdriver won't work on these screws. So I went old school and pulled out my butter knife. And as always, keep your hardware together, even if you're not going to reuse them on this piece. You might want them for something else. Today I'll be using Palmolive dish soap and warm water to wash my furniture down. For all your beginners out there or those of you who wants to try this for yourself, this is a very important step, cleaning your furniture. And you do this so you don't paint all of the grime into the furniture, leaving lumps and bumps on your piece. I'm doing this piece as a flip. So if you're interested in learning how to flip furniture, please follow along. Then I'm going to rinse my piece and let it dry. Now that my tables have been washed and rinsed, it's time to do a scuff sand. I will be using today a 220 grit sandpaper to scuff my tables. I decided, even though I have two tables here, to do my paint concept on the smaller table and do it on the larger table off camera. So we're going to start by sanding both the tables down. Now this concept is something that just came across my news feed and I have never blended metallics before. So I got this from Katcha and that's C-H-A-C-H-E and I will leave her link as well in the description box. This is where I got this concept. So I'm just going to do it on one of my tables and if I like it, I'll go ahead and do it on the second table and that's why I'm doing it off camera. Also, when flipping furniture, you want to know your market. So this is something I haven't seen on my market, so we will be testing it out. Now that my sanding is done, I'm going to take a damp cloth and wipe down my furniture pieces. also going to take a brush to make sure that I didn't leave any debris and the grooves on the tables. Now it's time for the primer. Today I'll be using Zinser 123 
primer and I am using it in the gray color. Um, my base coat is going to be a metallic gray, so I decided to use a gray primer. If you enjoy this type of content and you are not a member of the Furniture Redesign Squad, now is the time to hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be aware of all my upcoming videos. My primer is on, we're gonna let it dry, and then we'll be ready for some paint. My base coat for this project is going to be silver. And today I'm using Rust-Oleum Silver Metallic Paint. Let's get started. My first coat of silver metallic paint is added to the piece. Now we're gonna go ahead and start blending in the black. Now this is Modern Masters Black Pearl Paint. And then we're gonna go to Rust-Oleum Rose Gold. I'm gonna add my black pearl paint to a styrofoam bowl. And I'm gonna use an old paintbrush and I'll be using it in a stenciling motion to apply my paint. Now we're ready to add the rose gold paint. I'm using Rust-Oleum rose gold paint. And we're going to use that same dabbing motion to apply the rose gold paint. I wanted my piece to have a little bit more black than the rose gold showing. So I'm going back over any spots where there's heavy rose gold with the black.
Here I didn't speed up the camera. This is the actual motion that it took to add the paint to the piece. I then take my black paint and go into all the corners. This is just to give the piece more definition. Because this piece have lots of creases and curves, I pulled out an artist brush just to get in those curves. It's time for my top coat. I'll be using ferrothane polyurethane for my top coat. I'll be adding two coats of the polyurethane. I'll be using a sponge applicator to apply it. It's been two hours, the poly is dry, and now I want to add my holes for my drawer pulls. This is the hardware that I'm going to use. Now I did have these left over and they were in an ivory color but I spray painted them in the black um, satin enamel paint. This is what I sprayed it with. Okay, and then I took my gray metallic paint and I added a little gray, as you can see, to 
the hardware piece. And then I sealed it so that it will stay with my clear enamel paint. And now I'm ready to apply it to my dresser. I'm going to go ahead finish adding the hardware to both of my end tables and we'll come back and see them both on display. And here's my tables complete or what I thought was complete. For me, it was just a little bit too much black once I put them on display. So I went back to the drawing board. Now this is more like it less black and a little bit more of that rose gold. I also dry brushed that rose gold onto the hardware to soften the piece a bit. I like this much, much better. I also displayed it in my living room. For those who follow me know I did my living room and I did do it in rose gold. So I put the pieces in the living room to give you a better idea of how they look. Let me know in the comments section, what do you think? Do you love them? Do you like them? Is it something that you will try? Also, make sure you check out Katcha, that's K-A-C-H-A, -A, on how to layer metallic paints. I do hope you all have enjoyed this video. And if so, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and come back for the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful, blessed day, and I'll see you in my next video.